Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great and happy to learn together. This query raised by Deepak. Um, so he actually noticed well in one of the video. So where I explained about the screen modification is happening between selection screen at selection screen and at selection screen output events. So in that video, um, I didn't complete, I can say. So I mentioned you can write your screen modification code in at selection screen. It will execute as per your expectation. Um, I can say uh, I have not uh, completed that video. So whatever I explained exactly, it is not working as expected. So I want to complete that with the help of this video. So the idea is screen modification code is always preferable to write under at selection screen output only. The reason behind whenever the event or uh, the screen refresh happens, it execute at selection screen first and again it go back to at selection screen output event, execute the code whatever it is there then the screen pop-ups are refreshed okay so if you write the mo screen modification code in pai what happens is goes to pbo it doesn't have any uh, other control over there especially the screen component or modification it back to keep all the component in the same state okay so that is the reason okay let me get on the slide with the code so then it's easy to understand what i am talking about yeah, this is the one so in the previous video, so I have uh, executed, I have written the code in both the places and it's it, it seems to be work perfectly because the code is available in both the places okay? because I just did copy and paste. I didn't complete the video. So but at, then what is the reason or when we need at selection screen, especially for screen modifications. Suppose in a screen you have a two different user commands, but in, in the video I have only one user command. Suppose I have two user command. Example, the I enabled the um, radio button with user commands. Okay, so I have user command us uc1, uc2, whatever it is. Okay, so if you had two user commands based on that user command, I want to make my screen modification. In that case, we need a support of at selection screen. The reason is. There is a variable to capture the uh, user commands, nothing but SciUcom. So this variable is filled only in at selection screen, not in at selection screen output. Okay, I will show you that also. So uh, the conclusion of that particular video is if you want to write any screen modification based on the user command, then you need some variables to be captured uh, saying that yes, this user command is uh, selected based on that my modification works then we need some modifications in this at selection screen also okay so that is the idea suppose i don't want any user command uh, simply if you select i want to do a screen modification go to at selection screen output only okay this is the actual code so in at selection screen if the user command is selected based on the user command my screen modification should work then i need to keep some variables with the value x or whatever you are you're comfortable okay based on the value my looper screen screen modification is going to work in at selection screen output the reason behind that selection screen output you are not able to get the value for sciocom okay so this is actually the conclusion of that particular video so i'll explain this in the system also you will get a good clarity let's get into the system this is my code i have uh, two input boxes three option buttons with user command and the code i'll already written in both the places at selection screen and at selection screen output also let me comment this and execute activate and execute let's see how so expectation it should work but uh, reality it is not going to work any screen modifications in the at selection screen okay there are some complex scenarios where we have to use it probably we'll see quite later i'm executing it so r2 but is not worked okay so r1 r2 nothing is worked because i return in the 
it's not okay maybe in another way is it reached at selection screen but again it went to at selection screen output there is no change in the component so it just keep the component as it is okay let's go back so now let me comment this okay even comment or not it doesn't matter here okay so i'm enabling it in at selection screen output activate now execute so part two it worked it disabled okay so the idea is selection screen or screen modification better you keep it in at selection screen output event okay one scenario here just go back going to keep a breakpoint in both the places okay now execute so if you see the user command so now currently it's uh, empty because i didn't select anything so let me execute fully and i'm going to select r2 now so expectation it should go to pai like at selection screen yes and the siu com is okay one and i'm going to execute fully so again it goes to at selection in output but siu com is not captured so this is the scenario if you want to execute your uh, screen modification based on the user command then you need a help of at selection screen again you don't want to write this code just a variable to make sure this user command is captured based on that to a screen modification okay so for that uh, the same code whatever i have showed in the ppt so instead of this let me comment that so in at selection screen i'm going to enter the value so if psi u com equal to ok1 yes ok1 so let me have a variable so local variable type character one okay so i'm going to enable this with some values x then go to output at selection screen so if the variable is x, then do this. So always clear it inside when the validation is done. Then close it in there. Okay, so now activate and execute it. And execute R2. So this is happening based on the user command. Okay. And uh, the code is available in at selection screen output only. But if it is a user command is yes, UK1, OK1, then only it will execute. Okay. So this, this is the one and this part is actually I got missed in that particular video. And that video is view selection screen part 2. Okay. So in that I didn't complete along with whatever I explained in this one. Excuse me. Uh, so here I added, but here I added in the at selection screen as well, but not explained properly along with whatever I explained now. Okay. So hope this might be the conclusion of the video one selection uh, selection screen part two. Okay. Just go through what if you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.